Okay, so this is a different kind of pitch invasion from the ones we might be used to. Security is obviously not too great around here. Uh, I think Waka has a lightning weapon now that will be useful, but obviously he no longer has a sensor, I think, so we need to watch out. Let's see. Hmm, yeah, no sensor. Might as well use it, because we're going to get 1.5 times damage here, so that will help him take them out in one go. I think they have 170 HP. It's nice that Tyrus has got a little um, HP boost now as well. It's caught up to Waka. I mean, they're so weak and I get attacked not very often, so the overdrive gauges really aren't filling up much. Of course, if you want to get more overkills in this section, feel free to, to use cheer. That way, I'm pretty sure Rocker will be able to get overkills every time. Okay, this should be the final bunch, even though there are going to be others to take their place, but this should be the final set. <sighs> it would have been nice if Waka had overdrive, I could have taken them all out in one go, but... Because I haven't done too much random battling and, and I haven't focused on them too much, we don't really have any overdrive modes yet. So all we have is Stoic, where it only charges when you take damage. Well, at least Titus is getting the criticals in. Should be the last one. There we go. Easy peasy. AP was terrible, but at least we've got 20 power spheres. One of my favourite FMVs coming up now. It is pretty epic, I have to say. What's happening? Oh yeah, that expression is fantastic. Alright, so it's not really, I mean it looks pretty impressive in the cutscene, but yep, that's all we got. And Return of the Badass. Orin. Sir Orin. So, you do know him. Yeah, best guardian there ever was. So how the hell can Auron also be here? I mean, it means that he's um, he's also travelled forwards in time, like Titus, as if his badassery wasn't enough. Um, power break, as far as I know, reduces um, damage output by half for physical attacks, strength based attacks anyway. And it hits 100% as far as I'm aware. And the only way, obviously, that 100% is not going to be ineffective is if um, 
the enemy has some kind of resistance to power break, but I mean, the early enemies, most of them are not going to. So again, Auron has the same agility stat as Lulu. And you can see his evasion is so low, he's not even able to evade that attack that, um, that this Garuda has. But obviously, Titus has haste, so that's why we can help him catch up to everyone else. But you see, we have a good mix here. We have the ability to, to lower the, the Fiend's strength. We can inflict darkness as well, so when you start putting everything together and start to, to work as a team, then even powerful enemies can be dealt with pretty easily. So this one actually counter-attacks, but it's not going to make much difference. And that extra MP is coming in handy as well, so Waka has plenty of opportunity to use his attacks. Barely took a scratch. Okay, so there's going to be some important conversation here between uh, Tylus and Auron, so a lot of cutscene coming up. And uh, when I was talking about the FMV earlier, it wasn't actually the Auron FMV I was talking about, it was this one. Hey, give me a break! Whoa. So what you saw there was a truly powerful Aeon. That thing is insane. It was chained up and it just used its eye to take out all of the fiends that were attacking the stadium. Crazy. So yeah, Seymour has an Aeon like that up his sleeve, so he is a pretty powerful guy. You're really leaving, Captain? Shouldn't you heal up first? Yuna needs me with her now. I can't be lying around in some bed. Yeah, but... Come on, look sharp! The blitz season just started. Don't make those faces, yeah? Well, see ya, boys. You be good. Captain. I can't hear you. Captain. And there we go. That's the end of Walker's blitzing career. Well, you got to leave while you're at the top, yeah? Are you sure? Never liked long goodbyes anyway. Sorry for making you wait, Yuna. I have some promises to keep, yeah? From now on, I'm your full-time guardian. Then welcome back, Sir Waka. Good to have you with us. Hey. It's good to be back, yeah?
So, any news on what happened? Not really. We don't know where the fiends came from. Maester Micah is safe and sound, thanks to Maester Seymour. That's about it. Maester Seymour's Aeon... It was so powerful. Indeed. And I'll tell you more about that once we continue. Hey you! Don't just stand there! All of this is your fault! Getting swallowed by sin, ending up here in Spira, not being able to go back to Xanark, and everything, everything! I'm telling you, it's all your fault! <laughs> Who are you anyway? You knew my old man, didn't you? Yeah. And you also knew Yuna's father? That's correct. Hey man, there's no way. That's just impossible. Nothing impossible about it. Jacked, Roska, and I... Together we defeated Sin ten years ago. Then I went to Xanarkin, where I watched over you. So that one day, I could bring you to Spira. Why did it have to be me? Jack asked me to. Is he alive? It depends on what you mean by alive. He is no longer human. But then, I felt something object there in that shell, couldn't you? You must have felt him when you came in contact with Sin. It can't be. It is. Sin is Jekt. That's ridiculous! No way! I don't believe you! But it is the truth. You'll see for yourself. Come with me. If I say no? Every story must have an ending. I don't care about your stories! I see. Sorry you feel that way. Fine then. Come or don't come, it's your decision. What am I supposed to say? You tell me it's my decision! But I don't have a choice, do I? You're the only one who can tell me what's going on anyways! I have to go with you, I have to! Irritating, I know. Or are you afraid? <laughs> it's all right. Orin. Will I ever go home? Back to Xanarkin? That's up to Jekt. I'm going to offer my services to Yuna. Come. Ah, oh, yeah. That means that Auron's joining the party. That's what I like to hear. Now, as I've said multiple times, this was really the first story-driven game that I ever played. And um, for that reason, obviously, I have formed a kind of unnaturally kind of deep attachment to this game. And I guess if you're the kind of player that's experienced with RPGs and you come into this, then maybe you might not get as hooked in as uh, someone who's playing, you know, this is their first RPG. And obviously at the time, you know, voice acting, you know, all this kind of stuff was just uh, completely kind of new to me. And um, I mean, to this day, I've always enjoyed the voice acting in this game. Okay, you know, there are times where it's noticeably bad, but I mean, on the whole, it 
you know, okay, it's not one of the best Final Fantasy, especially if you look at you know Final Fantasy 13 and on and those kind of games. But you know, I think in general, I've always I've always enjoyed it, and it does have its uh, high moments, like that scene between Titus and Oren. I think it was uh, very well acted. It's just something about Oren's voice. It's just uh, I really do love his voice. It's incredible. Okay, so when you press Square next to particular citizens of uh, Spira, you will see that they are Blitzball players. And what does this mean? This means that when you actually start blitzing for your own leisure and uh, to get important things later on in the game, you can actually recruit different players into your team from around Spira. And there are some very good players out there. You think he's going to stay here? Sir Oren knows him, apparently. You were right. He did meet someone he knew. Do you think he'll find a way back to Xanarkand? In any case, I'll miss having him around. He's still in town, isn't he? I think I'll go see him. Oh! Whoa! Sir Oren! Yuna. Sir. I wish to become your guardian. Do you accept? Uh, You're serious? You refuse? No, no. We accept, right everyone? Uh, of course! No problem at all! But why? I promised Braska. You promised my father? Thank you, Sir Oren. You're welcome to join us. And... He comes oh. too. Hi, guys. Uh, howdy. This one I promised Jekt. Is Sir Jekt alive? Can't say. Haven't seen him in ten years. I... see. You'll meet eventually. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. What's our itinerary? Where are we headed? Hey, come with me! Okay, before I join Yuna in what is one of the most hilarious scenes in the game, let's talk a little bit about what we've heard from Sir Oren. So, he's dropped the bombshell that not only is Jekt <laughs> Yuna's father's guardian, but he also he is also Sin. So, you know, Jekt has turned into a massive space whale. And I guess at least he's now something the size of his own ego. But obviously that makes completely no sense at all. How does a human being like Jekt end up becoming this massive killing machine called Sin? And we're not going to find that out for a long time. So all we have at the moment are pieces of the puzzle that 10 years ago, Jekt, Braska and Oren defeated Sin together. And 10 years have gone by. Uh, obviously, Braska is no longer around. And Sin is now Jekt. So, you know, these are all pieces of the puzzle. And as we continue on, we're going to put them together. But it's probably not for like another 20 hours that we're fully going to understand exactly what happened. Okay, so Kimari's still ignoring us. Remember, you're suffering from Sin's toxin. Don't say otherwise. And of course he's hiding this fact from Yuna as well, because that's going to be extremely weird for Yuna as well. I mean, saying that we're trying to kill your father's old guardian, that's that's just very strange as well. Would you meet Sir Auron anyway? Well, technically I'm not supposed to say here. But... I'm going to tell them just to see what happens. Since Toxin sure is <laughs> taking its time wearing off. Oh, fuck you, anyway, Walkman. I knew you'd find someone you knew here. I'm telling the truth, believe me. You're a real guardian now, so no mistakes. Understood? <laughs> so Oren is kind of like a, a female version of Lulu in 10 years' time. I just said Oren's a female version of Lulu. You know what I mean. <sighs> okay. 
what do we have here? So, if I give Auron this strength sphere, he's already stronger than everyone else, and he's probably going to start becoming overpowered way too quickly. And because Auron is, uh, you know, the high HP strength guy, if we boost his strength even more, he's just going to be destroying everything very quickly. So, since Waka is the weakest at the moment, or I think he's the same as Titus, he's, he's a little bit weaker, I will give Waka the strength sphere. At the end of the day, he did win the Blitz tournament. He kind of deserves it. And this will be a nice boost to Waka's abilities. Okay. Okay, veterans of the game, you might want to uh, go make a cup of tea, something like that, and uh, come back in five to ten minutes. For those of you that are new, brace yourselves.